Hey everybody, today I'm going to explain the spread operator in JavaScript. The spread operator is represented by three dots. The spread operator allows an iterable, such as an array or string, to be expanded into separate elements. What this does is unpack the elements. Here's an example. Let's create an array of numbers. Pick some numbers. I'll just pick one through five. One, two, three, four, five. Then just to test this, let's console.log my array numbers. In this array, what if I would like to find the greatest value? Well, one way in which I could do that is let's declare a maximum. Let maximum, this is going to be a variable, equals, I will use the max method of math. What would happen if I place our array within this method? Then I will display our maximum. So we have not a number. Using the max method, we can't place an array directly within this method. However, by utilizing the spread operator, we can spread this array into different elements. So we will precede this array with the spread operator. We are going to unpack the elements. Now if I run this program again, we have our result of 5. When you use the spread operator, imagine that you're opening a box and taking out all the contents inside, like you're unpacking something. Let's find the minimum this time. Let minimum equals math.min. We will pass our array of numbers, then use the spread operator to spread our array into different elements. What is the minimum value from this array? That would be 1. You can also do this with strings too. You can separate a string into different characters. Let, let's create a username equals Type your name, first name and last name. I will create an array named letters. Letters equals, we'll create a new array. Let's take our username, it's a string, and use the spread operator. Then I will display our letters. Console.log letters. And here's my name, divided into different characters. What we have is an array of characters. With my array of characters, I can join them back together and insert characters between each element. I will method chain the join method after our array. We'll add a dash between each character. So now my username is all one string, but there's a dash between each character. Okay, now this time we're going to create an array of fruits. We'll make a shallow copy of an array using the spread operator. Add some fruit. I'll add an apple an orange, and a banana. Then I will console.log my fruits. I can create a shallow copy of this array using the spread operator. A shallow copy means it's a different data structure, but it contains identical values. I'll create a copy of fruits named new fruits equals an array Let's take our fruits array, then use the spread operator. Let's display new fruits, and it should be an identical copy. Yep, there's no apparent change. We have two different arrays, but they contain identical elements. We can combine two or more arrays using the spread operator. Let's create an array of vegetables. Let's add some carrots, celery, potatoes. I'll rename new fruits as foods. Let's add our array of fruits, we're spreading it, comma, then we will spread our vegetables array. Then we will display our array foods. This array contains all of the elements from these two arrays, fruits and vegetables. We can use the spread operator to combine arrays. We even have the capability to append separate elements along with unpacking these arrays. I will also add eggs and milk. We have all of the elements from our two arrays, plus a few extras, eggs and milk. All right, everybody, so that's the spread operator. It's three dots. It allows an iterable, such as an array or string, to be expanded into separate elements. And well, everybody, that is the spread operator in JavaScript.